What's up, everyone? This is April, and you're tuned in to the Android Authority channel on YouTube. Sony is one of the very few companies that make gorgeously designed Android phones. Several of its phone designs generally break away from trends established by its competitors, making phone design one area where a Sony Android phone can really stand out. In this review, I'll take a closer look at one of such gorgeously designed Android phones, the recently released Sony Xperia TX LT29i. I find it a very pretty, lightweight, and pocketable phone. Let's find out whether its performance and features are also pretty. Even with just a glance, you'll instantly see the black, pearl, silver color theme on the phone's exterior. This color combination projects class and sophistication. It isn't loud and flashy, but it is firm and confident. The all-black front is accented by the Sony and Xperia word marks in silver. No capacitive buttons or physical buttons here, as you can see. The 1.3 megapixel front camera, LED notification, phone speaker grill, and sensors are here. The front is surrounded by a glossy pearl frame that bevels very slightly to this narrow strip of chrome. If you actually look at the side from a corner, you'll see that it's not a straight edge. Rather, it's angular and looks very nice. The shiny chrome frame adds a touch of class to the phone. The physical buttons are aligned to this chrome frame, and they are accented in matte silver. Here's a silver power button on the left with a hook for hanging accessories down here. On the other side are the micro USB port with a silver volume rocker next to it. And down near the corner is the silver camera shutter button, which I appreciate much. The headphone jack is at the top side and the microphone hole is at the bottom. The phone's back is matte pearl. It's made of hard plastic. One thing I like about this back plate is that fingerprints don't stick to it, so it's not prone to smudges. Notice how the elements here are all aligned along the vertical center. 13 megapixel camera, LED flash, video microphone, Sony logo, Xperia logo, and loudspeaker grill. Another nice thing about this back plate is that it is removable. The near field communication or NFC chip is here on the underside. The battery is also removable. This one's lithium polymer with capacity of 1700 mAh. Here are the micro SD and the micro SIM card slots. I find the back of the Xperia TX very elegant. There's also something interesting about the shape here. The top and bottom edges curve inwards towards the middle, as you can see here. The left and right edges, however, curve upwards. I realize that when the phone is placed on a flat surface, such curve makes the phone a mini seesaw. But this curved design works to the phone's advantage because the loudspeaker grill is not completely covered when the phone is placed on its back. We've seen mostly the phone's pretty exterior. Let's now check out the phone's performance and software features. The Xperia TX comes with Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich and Sony Timescape UI. Navigation is smooth and nearly seamless with very minimal lag. This phone's processing hardware includes a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 MSM 8260A chipset, dual-core 1.5 GHz Crate CPU, Adreno 225 GPU, 1 GB of RAM, and 16 GB of internal storage. We were able to play games well, although there's some noticeable stutter. Overall performance, though, is generally acceptable, though I must say that this phone could have done better with a quad-core. Images and videos look very vivid and crisp on the display, thanks to the high pixel density of 323 ppi provided by this 4.55-inch TFT LCD touchscreen display at 1280 by 720 pixels resolution. It works great for outdoor use because the screen remains brilliant even under broad daylight. Photos and videos that you capture on this phone will look wonderful. Capturing them will be easy, too, since the phone has a dedicated shutter button. Outdoor images turn out bright and vibrant and are generally of great quality. Indoor images, however, aren't very nice despite the camera's low-light features. Autofocus works great, but takes a moment to latch onto a subject. There's a 2-3 to three second shutter lag, too, although that doesn't really bother me a lot. As for battery life, the Xperia TX provides more than enough juice to last up to 18 hours of music playback or 4 hours of video playback, or about 6.6 .6 hours of talk time on either 2G or 3G. 
We did a two-hour battery test just to get an idea of battery life. First hour, we played looping video. Next hour, we browsed graphics-heavy websites. Result: 49% of power left after two hours. With casual to moderate use, the phone can last probably up to eight to ten hours. In sum, the Sony Xperia TX LT29i is a great phone for those who want a lightweight, pocketable, and curvaceous Android smartphone with a simple but elegant design and with very vivid and vibrant display. Its hardware and battery are more than enough for moderate gaming, browsing, and multitasking. It's also a great phone for capturing outdoor photos and videos. Multimedia playback, both music and video, are Sony quality, which is my way of saying nice and awesome. Like this phone? Let us know in the comments. Visit AndroidAuthority.com to know more about the Sony Xperia TX and for more Android news and reviews. Also, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is April from Android Authority. Thank you for watching. May the light side of the Android Force be with you. <laughs>